According to Jonathan Matthews, Ignacio Chapella was a victim of a campaign launched on Ag Bio World, a pro-GMO internet site. On the eve of the article's publication in Nature, a certain Mary Murphy posted an email that Ag Bio World distributed to thousands of scientists around the world. She wrote, Activists will certainly run wild with news that Mexican corn has been contaminated by genes from GM corn. The very next day, a certain Andorra Smetacek posted a second email. Activists first, scientists second. It's totally a smear campaign. And this is what happens over the first couple of days. You get Murphy and Smetacek coming in, then others come in and they say, we have to campaign on this. We have to inundate nature. We have to go to the editor of the journal and we have to say this research isn't valid. Smetacek and Murphy, we, we'd been tracking them for some time and trying to work out who they were. In the case of Smetacek, we could look at the technical headers on the email. It says received from and then we've got an internet protocol address. If we go off to a website registration site, now all we have to do is just to copy that IP address. Organization name Monsanto Company and based in St. Louis. Then Mary Murphy left behind um, details that um, it enabled us to, to track who she was. So if, if we look, look here at the information that appeared, posted by Mary Murphy, and then we get the IP address bw6.bivwood.com. When we found that that was the original name of a PR agency called the Bivings Group, we quickly found out that on their client list was Monsanto, that this was an internet PR firm for Monsanto. That means fake scientists? What are dirty tricks? Yeah, no, no, we're talking very dirty tricks here. Yeah, I mean, there, 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 there's no ethics at all in, in, in what's going on here. It shows an organization that is determined to push its products into countries around the world and it's determined to destroy the reputation of anybody who stands in their way. Jonathan Matthews' accusations were covered in the British press, but Monsanto chose to ignore them. As it continues its unrelenting rise, the company defends its vision of a transgenic world that will resolve the problems of famine and the environment in perfect harmony. Practical experience clearly demonstrates that the coexistence of biotech, conventional and organic systems is not only possible, but is peacefully occurring around the world.